KHQ local news reporter Patrick Erickson joins us live from there. Patrick, what's the latest? Well, Dan, right now, what we do know is one person is in the hospital with life threatening injuries after going off this embankment just a short time ago. You can see it actually started the car right up here. That vehicle then traveling down this very, very steep embankment all the way down to the river, an estimated 300 feet. Now, let's take a look. We have another camera right down there closer. You can see it's a white pickup truck stopped just feet from the Spokane River. I actually had a chance to speak with a witness who was right behind that vehicle. He said that person did not break as he went over the embankment. He said he flew off of it, ending up there down by the river. He had a chance to get down there and eventually was able to pull that man from the Spokane River. Take a listen to what he had to say. I jumped out of the car, just went, went after him, so it was crazy. What happened once you got down there? Well, the guy was laying in the water. The truck is uh, maybe like 10 feet from the water, and the guy was laying in the water, just covered with water all the way. And what did you do? I tried pulling him out, but he was heavy. <laughs> so the, there was another guy that helped me out and the, and the lady nurse. <clears throat> so we pulled him out of the water and it looks like he's all right. You know? Uh, some quick actions there by some witnesses, police and fire department employees tell me probably saved this man's life. Right now he remains in the hospital with life threatening injuries. The road down here is closed for the time being. A lot of emergency personnel still on scene. They tell me they're going to be here for a while. Reporting live tonight, Patrick Erickson, KHQ Local News. Patrick, uh, before you leave that scene, I want to ask you, is there an, uh, some type of guardrail that protects that hill that he went through, he went over? How did it get down that hill in the first place? Uh, Honestly, Dan, we have no idea. At one point, the person I talked to actually talked to me and said he thought that the person might have been out, may have been passed out, or had some sort of medical episode. I can tell you that there's not much of a guardrail. There's actually just a little bit of a, a cyclone fence, and that is really about it that keeps people from the roadway and this embankment, which again is very, very steep and about 300 yards or 300 feet from the Spokane River. And Patrick, before you go, any road closures uh, that travelers need to hear about? Uh, at this point, the road up here, Northwest Boulevard, is still open right now. A lot of the emergency crews are down below next to the river. Not going to impact traffic at all at this point. All right, keep us posted. Thank you, Patrick Erickson, reporting.